okay, it's very rare actually. It's good. Mm -hmm. to, it's good to see from time to time, but it's usually one and one off now these days, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's lots of times that uh, you look at opposition you're playing, you know, particularly the defenders you're playing or if there's full-backs that like to charge forward, there's a lot of spaces now for strikers to, if they're comfortable moving into the areas. So, yeah. no, I, 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 I would love, I, I keep saying it with Scotland, I think we should be playing two strikers all the time, particularly at Hamden. Has the game changed so much now that that is almost extinct, the way they play the game? No, I, again, I think it's who you're playing against and what kind of formation they're playing. Yeah. But particularly at home, I think if you've got the chance, you should play two strikers. Who's the best strike partnership, you, you, you think, when you get down through the years? So it's a well, tough question. Enough, I, have, I watched, uh, there was a thing on Facebook today, it was so many years since we beat, uh, Scotland beat England at Hamden in 1976. Yes. And Joe Jordan and Kenny Dalglish just ran riot against a really quality England side yeah. that day at Hamden. It's funny you saying that. I was, I mean, on, honestly, I mean, I know a lot of people would say, oh, Peter's going to say Dalglish and Rush. But the only thing I would say to you, and probably people, a lot of people who know the game inside out, uh, who watch games, and a lot of the punters who watch this programme would say, well, wait a minute, Kenny, Kenny could drop off into into areas in the midfield mm. before he would play an out and out as an out and out strike. He plays a ten. I mean, he could play. He, he wasn't one of those guys that you thought. Well, he's waiting for the flick on for rush. He would drop in just behind and then play rush in. Best best two I've seen York and Cole at Man United. Yeah. I think that was that's a good show. See when I see the two and I seen you know Beckham, Giggs, Scholes, Keane. That four four two that won the champions, that won the treble. Yeah, that was the best. That's the best team I've seen. It's a good one to put out for a question. What's the, yeah, who's the best? The best, one, the best one I've seen in Scotland. Go on, Bristol and Crawford. Uh, Craig Brewster and Stevie Crawford. Yes. Yeah. Well, I would. I would a, throw in Sandy Clark and John Robertson. Well, why, can I just area. say to you, why didn't you throw in Jimmy Bone then? Because you mentioned to Jimmy Bone the other night there that he was yeah, one of those guys that Rob, Rob will love to play with. I wouldn't have a partner for Jimmy. No. You know, I don't think... Uh, maybe, I agree with you, Clark and Robo were great. Way back to Party Thistle, it was, it was Jimmy and uh, Frank Coulson. Yeah. Who played in the game. But uh, the other partnership I was thinking of, Toshak and Keegan. Toshak and Keegan, yeah. Hayley yeah. McCoy, tall man. Hayley McCoy is a Hayley good one. Hayley McCoy. Hayley McCoy. In fact, a lot of a lot of Rangers fans would say Hayley and Johnson as well. Um, I mean, Mark was so good as a you know as the, the leading part of the partnership as the the front man, and then the McCoy would play off him. But Hayley McCoy is a really good one. Some people say Larson and Sutton, but. The one that was, the Hartley really, was in there and all, no, there was... Yeah, uh, and again, it's great. Who, who would you have as your greatest striking partnership?